I'm going to show you how to get the Keysight ADS license if you're a student. So you have to navigate to their web page, which is the first result on Google. And this is just a form for you to fill in, which is quite straightforward. You must use your university address. That should end in .ac.uk, if it's a UK university. You'll find that your university has a contact page, which will show the uh, full correct address for your university. And because I'm not in America, I just put other for the state. So your professor might be the module leader of your module, or it might be the person who is uh, currently giving the course that will tell you. We need the host ID, and at the top we have this help page, and this command will give you the host ID. Uh, you might have some different options. Uh, make sure it's the correct option, and there's a bit of guidance on the website. But if you already had it installed, you can go to this folder and type in this command, and you see it's actually the same, uh, but there's no dashes. And that's just what we're going to type, the same command with no dashes. So this is a renewal because I have it before. And personally, I like Keysight's email, so I will say yes. Click Submit, and that takes you to this page. Uh, now you have to wait. Uh, a couple of days at least for the uh, license to appear. Just check your inbox and uh, you can see it. And your license should live in this folder. You can see I have previous ones. The part that I haven't obscured is actually the date. It's year, month, day. So if I open the license manager, add a place, and you can see that there's an old file in there. You'll notice that that's the same uh, folder. Just go to Add, and you should have one that you saved in there that's the current date, which is uh, September 2023 in my case. So now it will check. You must be connected to the internet, otherwise it won't work. And now we should be able to use Keysight ADS.